All right, Capricorn, I don't know what the city skyline is, but this is where and when this will happen. It might be near a church, library, bookstore, daycare, nursery. There's another book here. There's a church here. Mountains taking photos of scenery. I've got angel wings here. All right, next question. Who or what do you need to let go of? Who or what does Capricorn need to let go of? Eight of Pentacles. Why did I know this was coming out? Um, somebody you're learning from, somebody that's teaching you, could be a co-worker, somebody that you share a skill or a hobby with. Let me read Eight of Pentacles in this book. Who or what do you need to let go of? Here it says, a mother-daughter, a mother-priestess, Rose Red, imparts wisdom to a daughter, a novice, Snow White, under the female, symbolic, western, Whoa, hold on. Western Rose Window. This looks a lot like this. No? Visualize. Visualize letting whatever this is go, or whoever this is go. A hooded crone, so there may be a maiden mother crone. A... Um... Family tree, daughter, mother, grandmother. Uh, hooded crone holds the light. After the failure of the seven, the eight offers help through a different kind of learning embodied in female symbolism. Among its meanings are new knowledge, and I already said that with the two eights, new knowledge. The new knowledge was there's something otherworldly for you something waiting in the wings, something that you are destined to be crowned for. Um, among its meanings are new knowledge, extension of understanding, secret doctrines, new hope, and serenity through enlightenment. So after you get clarity on... Where did that book go? What did it say? Well, you're busy looking for that mentor figure. Others might be using that as an opportunity to take what they want from you. After you get clarity on that situation, which is falling right on top of the Patron, um, could be someone that drinks Patron. After you get clarity on this, could be a work environment, schooling, counseling, sports team, love situation, friendship situation, but somebody's trying to keep you stuck and stagnant. And that's who or what you need to let go of. Give me three stickers to further clarify for Capricorn what this is. Who or what does Capricorn need to let go of? Who or what does Capricorn need to let go of? That fell. Okay, so it's somebody who is spiritually sound, has spiritual strength. This could be your mother. Maybe you don't see things the same as them. Notice we have this again. It says, no, just no. And something about oils, dandelion. Why did I see this song the other day? I think it was Dandelion Ruth. Let me see. Dandelions, Ruth B. That's the lyrics. Who or 
what you need to let go of. Dandelions. It says, maybe it's the way you say my name, maybe it's the way you play your game, but it's so good. I've never known anybody like you, but it's so good. I've dreamed of nobody like you. And I've heard of a love that comes once a lifetime, and I'm pretty sure that you are that love of mine. Because I'm in a field of dandelions wishing on every one that you'd be mine, mine. And I see forever in your eyes. I feel okay when I see you smile, smile. Wishing on dandelions all the time. Praying to God that one day you'll be mine. Wishing on dandelions all the time. Dandelions by Ruth B. Somebody wants something, and I don't think the other person feels the same. Okay. What is the current, what is your current person, the one you're either with or the one you're about to be with, currently thinking about you? What is the current person, what is your person currently thinking about you? They're waiting, waiting for communication. Something about Easter, Pussy Willows. They're waiting. What is the current person thinking of waiting for you to say something, waiting for something to be said, asked, waiting for a crazy time to pass by? Um, hold on, there's like three shocks in a row that are coming up. Somebody might act out of character. Um, I don't love that moth thing. Yeah, I don't love any of this. We've got the devil and the fool. Somebody is unhinged. They're probably watching. I don't know what this means. No shoes, please. They might might be an argument about shoes. Okay, this is funny. It says there is one emotion that is that its presence or absence changes us completely love. It also says marry a millionaire in there. There's baby's breath. I don't know if somebody's in a ritualistic spot doing binding magic. If somebody is infatuated. If somebody feels like they're losing you. Or this could be you, but something not good is going on here for someone to want to be with someone this badly. The Fool in Reverse, I may have to get a card on this. The Fool in Reverse, lack of caution, recklessness, unwillingness to take responsibility, hesitancy to start, lacking confidence wide-eyed curiosity, the way a child sees the world full of wonder and oblivious to danger. It's also somebody that is mentally unbalanced. What is this about? What's this whole thing about? The question again was, what is the person currently thinking of you? Devil Tower. I don't know if this is the person you're with. That could be where the Three of Swords comes in in this aspect. Maybe somebody's leaving somebody for somebody else. What is this about? Rats. Somebody ratting on somebody? Okay, this is this is what I feel. It's like a three three-part thing where let's say you get into an argument and all of a sudden somebody's calling the cops and then next somebody's throwing all your stuff on the lawn so like three towers in a row I don't know what that is up or what that means rats eaten alive spread disease be careful cemetery I just said somebody's in a cemetery doing something weird 
scurry, laboratory, small mammal, furry, swarm, gnawing, tails, exterminator, mouse, black death, sewers, infestation, low life, and squeaks. I don't know. Capricorn, you take that if it applies and leave it if it doesn't. Now, tell me what is this next relationship about? What is this next relationship Capricorn's going to have about? Ace of Pentacles, a new opportunity, a new offer, making money. I think you have to get away from something dark and toxic in order to experience what's coming in. I also think <coughs> a lot of the times we need darkness in order to know what light is. Ace of Pentacles, new job, a raise, a promotion, an investment, new income. Also, Ace of Pentacles. From here, attentiveness, paying attention to something. Um, it could be a new opportunity also. Ace of Pentacles, reward. You could get rewarded for all of this nonsense that you had to go through. Turn this a little. You are protected. Ace of Pentacles means wealth, possessions, money matters, security, property, material rewards. That is from the mother or earth. The gypsy synonym for money. The suit became diamonds, another earth sign, the word meaning earth goddess so what is this relationship for or about to provide you with security stability um, a chance an opportunity financial relief Something about something you're doing, receiving a reward, acknowledgement for that. Twelfth, hangman, the wine. So right now in limbo, stuck, waiting, don't know if something's going to survive or end. What's this Ace of Pentacles about for Capricorn? This relationship, what it's about, best mom ever. What's this relationship about for Capricorn? Because I see crystals, I'll get a crystal. Remember, you are everything I could ever dream of and more. There's a ticket, an opportunity, a ticket out of some situation. And you're going to get clarity or be able to see. Where's my... Be able to see... A way out. Uh, Capricorn, give me a crystal for this situation. A crystal. What is this? Scapolite? Okay, let me show you. Scapolite. Right there. So speaks of abundance, virtue, eloquence, perception, optimism, confidence, and positivity. A variety of agate used to heal hearts after a death. Maybe somebody's going to unexpectedly pass away or maybe it's not literal, maybe it's figurative. So scapolite Did I just read the wrong thing? I so did. Hold on. Change, pain, relief, problem solving, achievement, inspiration, and balance. Absorbs electromagnetic frequencies said to aid in finding solutions to tricky problems. Okay, that makes more sense. Um... Let me pull one to end this. Capricorn, what would you like Capricorn to know? I think I'll go here. What would you like Capricorn to know? So 
something about a relationship. Is that one? Yeah. Alright, let's see. Where is this one? It says March. Did I say March? I said, yeah, Aries season. March. Love and lovers. This is it's a Korean deck. This is how it flows. So that's the title of it. I'll let you see. A beautiful woman and man are hugging each other tenderly. Cherry blossom petals flutter as if blessing them. It is the happiest moment of their lives. The whole new perfect world is going to open in their hearts. But it is unclear what their future will be. Did the two of them have did the two of them have been together for a long time? Or did they fall in love with each other at first glance while watching the flowers today? Remember, you are everything I could dream of and more. Flowers. Um, hard to know. However, it feels like their happy smile from a distance tells that they are a natural companion. In the life of a person, love is probably the best feeling to empathize with. Love between a man and a woman is stronger than anything else in the world and is a force that unites each other. Meaning of this card, a consensus is reached. A contract or transaction is closed. You would be lucky for working in the partnership and the best luck will follow you in every work that many people participate in, including relation of lovers. Those who had quarrels will reconcile and those who needed comrades will gain a reliable ally. Anxiety disappears after meeting with a precious man and troubleshooter. Awesome. Good luck, Capricorn. <laughs>